Hey everyone, it's Hannah and I'm going to do another get ready with me today. You seem to like the last one so I thought I'd do another one and I hope that's okay with you all. Today we're going for something that's kind of more colourful but doesn't look more, mm, kind of does. It's kind of like, I used orange and red and dark red and then like a sparkly colour, which isn't a colour. But it kind of goes with my t-shirt, I don't know. I explain in a second why I'm doing another get ready with me so soon after the last one and so that all explains that. And I don't actually have anything extra to add for a change so let's just get on with the tutorial shall we? So yes, back here with another get ready with me. I'm sure I've already explained in the introduction but I haven't filmed the introduction yet so I'll just explain now anyway. Um, the reason I have another get ready with me so soon after the last one, I said that I wasn't going to do a get ready with me sort of every week and it's not every week um but basically i've just realized what the date is and how soon easter is and my parents coming and my well just my family in general um are coming to visit in uh they're coming easter monday which is the day after easter um and that's probably been and gone by now um i haven't decided an uploading schedule yet but anyway they're coming to visit and so I realised that I'm filming this on St. Patrick's Day, um, which I know, criminal, not wearing green. But I realised, yeah, and so they're coming to visit for a week and then I'm going back to England with them for a week. So I have two weeks where I'm not going to be able to make any videos. So, um, I'm trying to get a bit of bulk filming done and I hope that's okay with you all. Because I got a lot of positive feedback on my last Get Ready With Me. Um, you seem to like it, so I'm just going to do another one. It's one of those moments where if you hate it and you don't like it, don't watch it. You don't need to comment and tell me. But a lot of people said that, you know, they were interested to see how I do my makeup. And it was interesting to them. And I don't know. <laughs> you seem to quite like my personality. So you don't mind having the odd random video here and there. Also, I have dangly earrings and it's really weird. Um, and it's weird that I'm saying that. So I've got quite a few piercings, as you can see. And for those of you concerned, I do still have my septum ring in. Um, I have the one that I got it pierced with, which has also lost the ball. Um, but it's really big and really ugly and doesn't suit my face. I lost the ball, I lost the ball to my um, little black nose ring. But anyway, um, concealer, blend, sponge. Um, yeah, what was I saying? No idea. You all seem to like my get ready with me and were interested to see how I put my makeup on and all of that jazz, so. I hope that you don't mind that we have another one relatively soon after the last one. Oh, dangly earrings. I, um, I'm wearing dangly earrings because I have quite a few piercings. But um, I used to wear earrings with stones in, in my holes here. And um, the stones are coming a bit loose, which is fine. They're years and years and years old. I've had them since I got my ears pierced and I got them pierced when I was 12, so that's 14 years. Um, Maybe even 11, 11, so 15 years, just before school holidays when I was in year six. Because then they have six weeks to heal, so then I can take them out for PE. You can tell my mum's a teacher. Um, PE is sport, for those who don't know. But yeah. Um, and I haven't worn earrings in them for a while because I need to get a new pair of sterling earrings that I can just wear all the time. And I haven't done it yet. Um, because money and laziness. So um, I am wearing dangly ones today to make sure that my holes don't close up, which they won't do because, like I said, they are 15 years old almost, 15 this year. So yeah, they're not going to close up, but I just thought, let's ensure this doesn't happen by wearing some dangly earrings just for a little bit, and they're really annoying. But I say it's strange for me to say this because I used to wear dangly earrings all the time, all the time, all the time. Every single day. If you knew me in sixth form, and I don't know if anyone who knew me in sixth form is watching this, um, then you will know my earring collection. I used to go into clothes accessories and buy the biggest, 
and tacky as the earrings that they had and they were always on three for two so i always used to go and buy three pairs and get one free which was a delight um so i had a still have a really extensive earring collection but i don't really wear them anymore because um i don't know I, maybe i just grew out of it or i don't know i'm not saying that people who wear big bright and colorful earrings are childish i'm just saying it's not my style anymore i don't know what my style is predominantly band t-shirt and jeans So instead of wearing a base for my eyeshadow, which I know you're supposed to, but I don't, um, I use concealer and face powder, and there are probably makeup artists watching this and cringing right now, but this isn't a makeup tutorial. If you want to know how to do makeup, go to cosmetology school. Don't come to a craft channel. <laughs> oh, what colours have I got my t-shirt? Pinkish, red, orange, and yellow. Hmm. Ooh, that's an orange. I've got red there, and I'm sure I got yellow. Mm, do I really want yellow as well? Might be a bit much. But we're going for something a bit more colourful today, because I said last time I was going to wear colourful, and it didn't happen. So this is a sleek uh, nautical collection palette. I'm taking this orange here, which is called Voyage. Oh, uh, they're all sea themed. I was going to say Voyage. I'm such a linguist, you know. And a fluffy brush. And I'm just going to whack that in the crease and blend it well. Um, yeah, don't come to a craft YouTube channel to learn how to do makeup. One of those, one of those moments. I like to think that you're just here to listen to me ramble on. And I'm not saying that I'm big headed enough to think that you're only here to listen to me ramble on. Um, I just, from feedback from you lot, you seem to like me rambling on. <coughs> I've inhaled some face powder, I think. So the weather has taken a wonderful turn. And to be fair, by the time this goes out, it might have changed. Um, but on St. Patrick's Day, anyway, the sun is shining. It is delightful. And... The small child that lives around here somewhere hasn't finished school yet, so he's not playing football against the wall, so that's a treat. Mm. Mm. Oh, water just splashed in my eye. Oh well. Um, then I'm taking this colour, which is this red one from the Urban um, Decay Vice palette. It's called Sonic. Um, it's just under bondage, and I used bondage last time. Oh my goodness dry my eye before I put it on. Fluffy brush again in the crease. Ooh. <laughs> we're okay, we're okay. I didn't get makeup on anywhere I wasn't supposed to. You see, there's a problem with wearing red eyeshadow in that um, you don't want it to look like you're ill. The trick to that is don't wear it. I don't listen to my own advice. No, the trick to it is um, blend it well, make sure it looks like it's supposed to be there. Don't make it look like an accident. And you'll be fine. Um, massive fluffy brush, nothing on it. I essentially do the same makeup on my eyes every day. I just mix the colours around. Um, I'm going to take Bondage, which was the one above the red one that I just showed you, which is a bit of a darker red. And you're going to think that I love this colour, but I really don't wear it that much. It just so happens when I'm filming and get ready with me. I hope you all had a lovely St. Patrick's Day. I don't really have any plans for today. Um, Mary's out this evening playing board games with his friends, which is fine. So I'm just going to be chilling out. I am going to see ice hockey again tomorrow though, and considering how much I loved it last time, I am very excited. Blendy, blendy, blend. You might see this makeup in a few videos. I'm going to see if I can get a 
few done today. I'm going to go back to the um, nautical palette that I first took the orange from and I'm going to go in with a spongy thing and I hate spongy things but um, this there's this first colour which is called Starboard Starboard is how I would actually pronounce it which is this lovely colour it's kind of shiny and I'm just going to whack that on with a sponge um, and like I say I normally hate sponge applicators but hey we, we make exceptions in life I'm just putting that on like the main bit of my eye. The bit that doesn't actually have any eyeshadow on yet. And I'm going to try my best to blend it in with the rest of it. But we'll see how well that goes. So by the time you're watching this, I'm probably sick of German food. When my parents visit, um, we eat a lot of German food. Which is funny because usually during the week we don't eat German food that much. Because we eat the food that we know how to cook. Um, which for me is very limited, but isn't German. Though the other day we did have Schupfnu down and they are delicious. Um, they're like potato based, but I'm not entirely sure what they are. I suppose they're like gnocchi, but not really. But I can't find a thin brush. You'll do? No, you won't. You want my eyebrow brush? I'm going to need you in a bit. How clean are you? Medium. Someone remind me that I need to wash my brush. So, thinnish angled brush going into Voyage or Voyage, um, which is orange, and just putting that under my eye a little bit. I like to wear eyeshadow on the, on the underneath bit of my eye, um, taking Sonic, um, because I Sonic is the red colour. I feel like it opens my eyes out more and makes them look more present and correct. Ah, but I am terrible at keeping it where it should be. And then taking that dark red colour. Basically, I'm doing what I did on my top creasy bit and putting it on the bottom. But because you're putting it more concentrated and not blending it, it looks far more intense. This fluffy brush is the secret to makeup. Um, well, one of the many. Um, you can whack any colours on in any way, but then if you get a big fluffy blending brush, you can blend it out and then it looks half decent. All my brushes say MAC on them, but I know for a fact that they're not. Um, but they're a gift, so I'm using them. Plus, makeup brushes, makeup brushes, makeup brush. Which is probably another statement that I'm going to retract at one point in the future, as and when I can afford nice makeup brushes and not use the sponges that come free with eyeshadow. So this is what I got so far. Um, eyeliner. I'm actually going to a pencil eyeliner, I think. Where is my pencil eyeliner? Nope, nope, nope. Nope. Uh -huh. So I've got this eyeliner, which is from the brand Essence. Um, then I've also got this eyeliner from Avon, and I'm trying not to use Avon anymore, because they test on animals. Um, but it does have a very nice spongy bit, and I didn't buy this, my mum buys of them, um, she gets Avon. It's got this nice spongy bit which is good for blending, so I'm going to whack this on and then blend it out with this. Look at me sounding like I know what I'm talking about. To be fair, I have worn makeup for a long time.
and then try and paint both your eyes match each other because at the moment they don't. They'll have to do, they don't match, but I don't mind too much because the only people I'm seeing, well, the only person I'm seeing other than Mario are you guys, so that's not too bad. Oh, big fluffy brush to brush off all the extra glitter and stuff that falls off. Um, I browse Too Faced chocolate palette, just like the normal, normal one, not the new one that came out because, you know, I'm not that current. Um, and I'm taking Semi Sweet, yeah. Semi sweet, small angle brush, eyebrows. If you saw my last get ready with me, you already know all of this. Oh, it's like a sauna in here, and he's turning that radiators off. Why don't you blow me kiss before she goes? Give me a shot to remember, and you can take all the pain away from me. Kiss and I will surrender. Shop is lives are the deadliest to lead. Oh, sorry. You can see the bike that's there. It's been there all winter. I can't wait until the weather consistently is like it is now. So Mario can ride his bike to school in the morning so I don't have to trip over it all day. Or I can't wait till I get a job so then I don't have to trip over the bike all day because I'm not in the house all day. One of those. One of those options is fabulous. There we go. That'll do for today. I shouldn't have done such a uh, noticeable eye makeup look if I'm planning on filming a few videos today. But hey, we learn from our mistakes. Ding. Let's take down this hair. Julia, I love you. I've started to do this a lot with my hair, so now it dries funny, so now I can't do anything with it. <sighs> oh well. But yes, I hope that you enjoyed this video and weren't annoyed that I did another get ready with me so soon after the last one. And I hope that you'll forgive me, but for some reason I have not been on top of dates and then looked at the date today and thought, oh, fiddlesticks. I've got quite a lot to do. So yeah, please don't hate me. If you did enjoy this video, please feel free to give it a big old thumbs up. Your support truly means the world to me and why not hit subscribe? I post new craft tutorials here in the corner of craft every Sunday and then I post bonus videos in the week as well, like this one that you're watching right now. So I'd love it if you stuck around and join the party in the corner of craft. We have a lot of fun and we apparently dance a lot. Um, I don't know. Don't forget to check out the description box below for links to all of my social media if you fancy following me on there. And I think that is everything I have to say. Thank you very much once again for watching and I shall see you very soon in my next video. Bye! A really fun seed bead tutorial for you. So I get messages all the time asking for um, seed bead tutorials as opposed to just the normal bead weaving that I do that uses delicate beads. But you can use seed beads for those ones as well. But you know, you know.